I'm Randleberg, your concierge yacht broker. Contact me to get aboard the 92-foot All Seas Expedition Trawler. The boat was designed to the owner's spec, and he wanted a boat that would go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I mean anywhere. And that's what we built him. This is um, the type of boat is based on a Trachi hull design, if I'm not mistaken, that's steel. And um, it's based on the experience we got building fishing boats that have been all the way to Nome, Dutch Harbor, all over the Bering Sea. And it was designed to cross any of the oceans anywhere. So when we left La Paz with no trouble whatsoever, they took it at 10 knots all the way down to the canal, Panama Canal, without a stop. And then they anchored off for a minute or two and then they pulled into the little marina. They waited their turn, took four days. They went through the canal without event. Four days waiting their turn? Yeah. Did they have to gang up boats? Was that what it was? Um, well, in one of the locks, they were right in front of a cruise ship. So on AIS, it was rather spectacular to see this huge um, cruise ship and then Heaven's Gate right in front of them, right in front of the gate before they emptied the lock. They came out of the uh, Panama Canal, headed almost due north. To Too bad you couldn't have flown a drone over that. Wouldn't that have been excellent? Yeah. Indeed. But, uh, they went uh, just about due north. Uh, they got 60 knot winds and really heavy seas below the Caymans. And... Um, they just decided to go on. It was a little uncomfortable, but no big deal. The boat did fine. It was just a crew that, mm -hmm. all of them older guys. But they uh, they barreled on through it. They even got up to 14 knots once they rounded uh, Cuba because they had the current and the wind behind them, mm -hmm. which exceeded hull speed. So, But she's, uh, she's designed to go. She's not designed to be pretty, although she is. It's more about pretty is as pretty does. Tough. Uh, you told me the story how tough this boat was. It's tough. Oh, you want to know about the deadhead? Yeah, I want to know about the deadhead. We're off of, uh, we're coming into Port Townsend up in the Puget Sound uh, doing 9.7 if I remember right knots and below the surface, two feet below the surface is like four foot diameter, maybe 40 feet long tree that loggers had lost and it's standing up. We took it straight on the stem piece, mm. head on. Big boom big noise. I was asleep at the time, so it brought me out of my rack. It re deflected off to port side, came back and hit the skeg in front of the prop mm -hmm. and so forth. And it bounced off of that and went on its merry way. It uh, scratched the bottom pane a little bit, didn't even ding the hull, didn't even ding the skeg, which is all three-eighths. Wow. The skeg is inch and a quarter and various depths, of course, as it comes up and goes forward, but it's no less than 12 inches all the way up. It's, it's solid. And the, is the prop protected? Is the rudder protected? Any of that? Well, the, more or less, mm -hmm. by the skeg. Yeah. But it, under the um, under the prop and under the the bottom mount on the rudder is, I believe, it's over two inches thick, solid, solid steel. Mm -hmm. That's your protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, heavy. And the rudder is made to be able to pull it. Should you be able to get into the water, you could do it from here mm -hmm. using the crane up above and so forth. Mm -hmm. Normally, you'd do it in a yard, but it could be done. Hmm. How do you pull the rudder with the crane? Is there. Hmm. Never Rud mind. Rudder posts yeah. pull the caps from the top yeah. and unbolt from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Once it's unbolted, that's got the eyelet on the back of the rudder okay. that you can go over the top of the crane, yeah, so it pick it up, and cool. slide it out and bring it out. What a great design feature. It yeah. made it easy to put in, but it makes it easy to take back out if you need mm -hmm. to, and so on. Yeah. Maintenance was foremost. Maintenance and redundancy. Everything, everything is redundant. Double ovens. Mm -hmm. um, dual engines. Dual main 55 kW generators, dual night generators, uh, dual computer systems everywhere. And I'm just putting the new ones up on the bridge. And we'll go through all that. That's we'll the real key feature. What about the water tight bulkheads? The steel water tight bulkheads at the forward edge of the lazarette with the water tight door, dogs down and all. Um, you go forward to the engine room, that's steel, quarter inch steel all the way across. That dogs down with another water tight. The third is in front of the guest cabins right at the washer and dryer in the hallway. That's another watertight. And um, you can seal this boat off according to mm -hmm. the architect that did the survey on it and so forth. He says that you could flood one of the compartments even too and she'll still float. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Super. It's the way it's supposed to be done. 
I'm Randall Berg, your concierge yacht broker. Contact me. Get aboard the All Seas 92 Expedition Trawler.